What's going on guys, it's your boy Brad and I'm back with another video and in this one I wanted to talk to you guys about study groups in nursing school. Should you do it, should you not do it? Let's get into it. Nurse. Bass. Rocks. Now I could sit here and tell you the pros of being in study groups and the cons and I could go through that whole spiel but what I want to talk about is you. Let's sit back and look at you. Internalize yourself. Think about it. Are you good with people or are you not? Are you a lone ranger or do you do better in groups? For me personally, I'm more of a lone ranger. I don't really um, thrive in study groups. I'm more of a recluse. I really feel like that. And so whenever I study, I like to get in my own zone and do my thing. But if I do get in a study group, it's really only like one or two people tops. Because if you get like three, four, five, uh, you know, it, it can become non-productive. It, it really can. Yo, did you catch the game last night though? LeBron went Went off son triple double beat him in overtime can you believe that no no I really, I really can't believe it I mean I you know I thought I thought we were doing electrolyte imbalances but apparently we're gonna be tested on LeBron no please please continue all jokes aside though you really gotta look at yourself I mean um, do you do do well in study groups or not I mean study groups can have positives you know there's more than one set of eyes and ears hearing lecture and you're all in there taking notes together you know your classmates could have picked up on things in lecture that you didn't because you were busy writing down something else you know two or three brains interpret the information differently so if they you know interpret it differently than you and you all start discussing your ideas and how you interpreted it and perceived the the lecture or whatever they might be able to give you a different side of things where you might it might click you know ultimately most nursing instructors are going to recommend that you do form a study group and like i said i would say i would stay one two people you really want to surround yourself especially also in your study groups with people who are smart who are smart like you who are driven like you who have the same things in mind you know the same focus you don't really want to be with somebody who is snobby so to speak like there's really there's two extremes okay there's two extremes two types of people that you want to avoid whenever you're talking about study groups and thinking about forming a study group the first guy is the smarty pants guy yo so nurse bass bro you trying to form a study group man we got this test coming up on tuesday and i really need some additional help so you want to try and bounce ideas off each other and you know make it happen Bro, I know you're not listening to anything. I'm just asking, you say no. Do you want to study group? You, you trying to do this or what? And then you've got the person who like desperately needs help and doesn't ever want to put in the work. You all know that person. You know that person. Stay away from those two people. But other than that, man, if you're going to form a study group, get with like-minded individuals who have the same drive as you, who aren't out trying to party a club every night, you know, who got their, their head on the shoulders the right way and have the same dream or desire or whatever to be a nurse. And that would be a good way to go. You know, one or two people, nice and small, nice small knit circle, and you can get a lot of productivity. You can get a lot of things done. I'm trying to use big words and stuff. Sounds stupid. But yeah, at the end of the day, guys, it really comes down to you. How are you? Are you a lone ranger like me, Mr. Reclusive, or do you get down better, bouncing ideas off of people? But either way you go about it, I don't really think there's a right or wrong answer. It really just comes down to you. Anyways, guys, I hope the video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get, take a little something positive away from it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. And also, if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping videos every week, and I'm trying my best to help you guys succeed. Because we're all in this ride together, and we're all walking the same path, and we all have that same desire to be a registered nurse. Until next time, guys, it's Nurse Bass, soon to be. Peace.